So for getting drunk, back again with you an attempt to have a craft beer review. The one I've got to review just now is one from Brewdog. It's a Clockwork Tangerine uh, Session IPA, Citrus Session IPA, 4.5 on the Richter scale for this one. This is one that I tried back in February on my birthday, all those moons ago. I was in the Brewdog Bar in Merchant City. I think it just came out and they had it on draft and I had a pint of it. And uh, well, I'll let you know what I thought of it in a wee minute or two. So here we go, there's a pour, the clockwork tangerine. Tangerines are something that I really, really do like. I don't eat enough of them. I eat a lot of them. But I do like this the zingy taste to give. So anyway, here we have the beer in the glass. Light sort of carbonation, sort of like coppery colour. It's just streaming it up there, 4.5%. You're not expecting... Uh, big big uh, stream of carbonation. So then we'll go in for the nose, see what it's all about, the clockwork tangerine. Oh man, that smell of tangerine is beautiful. It just smells like when you've stuck your thumb in a tangerine and you've popped it and you get that whiff of tangerine juice. Oh beautiful. I could smell this for a while. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of pine residue in there as well. Nice fruity herbal hop. So anyway, so getting drunk drinking a Clockwork Tangerine Session IPA by Brewdog. Sanjeeva. It does everything what I've got in the nose. Beautiful slap of tangerine in the mouthfeel. A little bit of candied sugar. Sort of like the hops have sort of died a little bit, to be honest with you, in a can. When I tried it on draft, they were more sort of, uh, the pine was more stronger. A little bit of piney needle on the tongue. I'm not getting this with a can at all. Uh, I just bought these from the supermarket a couple of hours ago. They were in the fridge for a while, uh, my, this can, but it's not super chilled, so I'm picking up what it's offering. It's inoffensive. It is a nice beer. It's a nice summery beer. Is it one you're going to session on? I think I could session on it, to be honest with you. I really do. It's like it's a little caramel. Uh, creaminess on the tongue. Uh, session IPA, there'll be a lot of people out there who like their IPAs and they like to session them. They'll probably say no to this, but I do. I think I actually prefer it on draft, to be honest with you, to the can. Because the pine was a little bit more uh, tickling the tongue, whereas the can is more softer. Not getting that. On the draft, I found it very, very carbonated. It is pretty carbonated in the can as well, but not to the degree of uh, what the draft was. Uh, but it's still a very, very interesting beer. It's one of those ones you, you're getting it now in all the supermarkets. I picked up four of these, I think it was for five quid in Asda tonight. Uh, it is out there. It's light, it's soft, it's inoffensive. It's a summer beer. You got a barbecue, you're out the back garden, or you're away on a train journey or something that's hot. This is the sort of beer you should uh, be having. A wee four pack of that would go down a treat. Nice stuff. So anyway, is it one I'll drink again? Yes, it is one I'll drink again because I've tried it before, I liked it. I, I got a can in a bottle box and I drank it off camera. I liked it and now I've bought a four pack. I see they're doing it in the big bombers as well, which I probably will pick up one of them as well. So anyways, well, yes, I'm going to drink this again. So what am I going to give the Boo Dog Clockwork Tangerine uh, Session IPA 4.5 Richter scale? I'm going to give that a Sofa King drunk rating of... I'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. So anyway, if you've seen it, about try it. And if you're in a Boo Dog bar and have got it on tap, try a half pint of it anyway. You'll see what I mean with the piney needle on the tongue. 
which I preferred actually, I preferred it over this, this is more mellowed out, softer. So anyway, there you go, Brewdog Clockwork Tangerine by Sophie King Drunk. If you liked it, drop a line below, if you didn't like it, still drop a line below, and I'll hopefully catch you in another craft beer review. Slangy Va, keep drinking the good craft beer out there. Ciao for now.